MMA Weekly TV here with Wes Sims. Kim Fishner, why did you interview all the rest of the fighters inside? You brought me out back here in the alley. I mean, this, we're in the alley of L.A. I uh, it's, it's not the odor. It's not the odor. I'm not trying to kill any odor. All right, no. all right, all right. Now, Wes, uh, you're getting ready here to uh, step into the cage again, but this time for a little bit of a different reason. I mean, you're stepping in at the WEC uh, Hitman Show. And I think Stepping it's a little in. different circumstance than ever before. Stepping in, I'm running in. I'm You're drop kicking in. my opponent. Ryan always wanted a drop kick. He asked me many times, when am I going to drop kick somebody? Well, this is the one I'm going to drop kick him. Woo. So be ready. Now, this is an exhibition, so you better take it easy, right? Well, yeah, no, on. yeah, here. Or are you going to go full No, this? I'm going to tell you what happened. Scott Adams and uh, Reed Harris dropped the ball. I like them both, but they dropped the ball. I gave them permission to find the toughest guy they can find in the ring, cage, or streets to fight Wes Sims. And what did they do? They went and got me some no-name, some dummy. Oh, no offense, but they got me somebody who uh, is going to come out there and try to kill me, make a name for himself. So what i got to do is just, there we go again. That dude's looting the car. <laughs> what do i got to do? i got to go in there and seriously hurt him. I'm going to beat him up in this charity event, and now... I got a couple concerns, one of which being how much money we raise and how much of that money is going to go to this guy's medical bills when I'm done with it. Right, now you mentioned before, we were talking earlier and you were talking about how you want all this money to go to the families. Just, I mean, that's what the event's for. Everybody's here, everybody's a part of this to raise money for Ryan Bennett's family. I mean, every, All right, I, I, got you, I get your knows, point. I get your point, no, no, I'll no, go no. easy on the guy. I'm not going to put him in the hospital. Don't bust him up too bad. I'm going to put him in the yeah. hospital. But, um, I don't know, I, tell us a little bit about your relationship with Ryan a little bit, because, I mean, I think you've been one of the guys that really stepped up. You were the first guy to step up and say, I want to do this, and I don't want anything for it. I just want to take care of Ryan's family. And I got offered a big old chunk this weekend, and uh, money can't, you can't put a price tag on friendship, buddy. You can't put a price tag on friendship. Right, you, you, had a, you had a possible chance of fighting in the WFA against Boss Root. Yeah. You know, you went back and forth on that. Why does this fight at the WC mean so much to you? Uh, it's just, I mean, it's an opportunity for, uh, I mean, besides exposure, but it's uh, for the family. I mean, it's something that these kids are going to be able to look back. I mean, he's got a son. They're going to be able to look back and say, hey, look, these guys came out and fought for my dad. And this was his show, and uh, I want, I'm the main event. Well, for me, it's fitting. I mean, Mr. Main Event, but on a serious note, I mean, to, to be a main event at his show is a huge honor, and I've said it a million times, I'm going to be around when a, a lot of these heavyweights are pumping gas up in Maine at some Sunoco station, <laughs> so uh, I gotta, I'm got i going to live by my word. I mean, I gave him a commitment, I said I'm in, so I'm in. I'm in till next Friday, then uh, after the fight, ladies, it's for free, so if any of you want to uh, go give me a free massage... Because I'm going a little low on chains, a little low on loop Remember, right this now. one's a family show. Yeah. Come on, keep this clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying after the fight. I didn't say oh, after. Dirty, okay. Dirty. okay. I'm just saying that afterwards. I mean, I'm not going to have a big chunk of cash to go to the Asian massage parlor. So, well, real quick, let's let's bring it back to the, to the seriousness for just one more second. And uh, what would you say? You know, this is a special night. This is for a special cause. What would you say to Ryan's family? Maybe a message to him, to Tanya, and the kids. I just saw Tanya. I mean, I hope you, I put on a good show. I hope you enjoy the show. I hope uh, over the last few. I mean, it's been a, a month now. I mean, I hope. I hope it's okay. it chokes it's me okay. up. Relax. I hope man. over the uh, past few weeks, you kind of realize how much your husband and. Uh, kids your father meant to this sport and to uh, all these people and uh, I'm going to give you guys a DVD I'm going to give you a fight that you'll remember for a long long time